Hey guys, today I'm going to be um, showing you how to float an object in Final Cut Pro. It's going to be my first Final Cut Pro tutorial, or tutorial at all in fact, and um, I'll basically be showing you how to do this, because I haven't seen any tutorials on how to do this in Final Cut Pro. As you see, I just uh, floated a cup. I did this really quickly, but I could have done it a lot better. So I'm just going to be showing you how to do that. Attached to this video, I'm going to be giving you um, a folder, which I'll put the link in the description to. And inside, it's going to have the thing of the video of me go going and lifting the thing. And also, it's going to have a bunch of different objects on green screens that I pre-keyed and put them on green screen. So I have the cup, I also have a pen, and I have a feather. So, let's uh, begin. So first, um, um, Final Cut Pro is a bit tricky to do because there is no motion tracking in Final Cut Pro, like After Effects, and um, so you can't do any videos. You can't record yourself in front of um, a green screen holding a cup with with a string because then you'd have to um, motion track it. So what I did is I saved you a lot of time, and I just got I got pictures of different objects and put them on a green screen background. And it's all still images. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the B to get to the blade tool. Find you lifting it or me and then stop it somewhere in the middle of that so click A, delete and delete now you're gonna take you're gonna find where your hand before your hand goes up like right here and you're gonna drag my disposable coffee cup JPEG onto there now what we're going to do now is we're going to key it. So, if you go into effects, right right here, you're going to write here, or key, or, oh yeah, you have to go to all, all, and you're going to find here. You're going to drag that on there, and since this green screen is actually really nicely greened, it does the job really well, but you see those little harsh lines there, the the black lines at the edges. So all you have to do is go to the crop and go to trim and just drag it in a little bit and drag it in on the other side. And now you don't have a problem anymore. It doesn't really match in too much with my video. So what you should do is go to blurs and find the Gaussian blur and drag it onto the cup. Now you see it gets a very blurry. I don't like that. No, no. We don't like blurry. We like a little blur. So you go to the inspector, drag the amount down to five. Type it in. Five. It does a pretty good blurry job. Now we go back, we take the transform tool, because this is bigger than my face, and we uh, drag it in to about the size of what an actual cup would be compared to my hand. You drag it to the um, size of the cup, and Right around here would be okay. And you find where that would be. Okay. Now we get to the actual levitation stuff. So now we go over here to this thingy that says how what what you would see the thing at. Now you want to see some gray. And you're gonna start it out all the way at the bottom. Around here. So it's kind of like right underneath. And you go to the first frame that it's in, which 
I think it's this frame, yeah, this frame. And you click the keyframe button right here, the little diamond. And go up a little bit until your hand would stop right here before it moves. So there. And you just drag it up. And that's all you need to do for the first part. So it will, it might not follow it the way you want it to. So maybe in the first couple, you can just drag it and it'll automatically keyframe. So it'll, it'll stay above the whole time if you want it to, which you should want it to. And right about, that looks good. But now, my hand kind of moves around. So we go with the arrow key and find where my hand moves. And we go four frames, five frames, and move it to above my hand. So now, if we go back, you see it kind of follows my hand, so it's levitating. And when it goes down and up. Okay. So now we find where else I move. So I move around here. You see it doesn't move exactly, so we can take it and move it back a little bit. It'll keep the movement going. So right around here, let's say I want to stop it here. I take out my, my blade tool, which I can go here to get it, or just click B. And you cut off right here. I guess. And then you cut off right here. And then you go to shortcuts, click A or select from the shortcut bar, and delete them both. Now you have your cup floating. It's all different objects. You can do the same exact thing with different objects. This is our finish. There we go, it's a little rough. You can fix that up if you go by and do the same exact keyframe thing. But this is just a tutorial, simple, um, and you can do it with all the other objects I've included in my pack. Thank you, and like if this helped you, and subscribe.